it's another mower. Now I wasn't going to pick up any more mowers, but I saw this one and it's got a side exit for the lawn, so it's got no catcher, which is good for around here. And it's got a bigger deck. Now I don't know how big the deck is, but I'm going to get a tape measure and I'm going to measure my deck to see how big it is. <clears throat> I'm going to measure the the deck on this old Victor that I picked up. So I'm going to measure it from tip to tip. I don't know how you measure your deck size, but uh, this one's 460, I'll call it. So tip to tip of the blade. I reckon that's the measurement that matters. Yeah. One day I'm going to put my hand under there and I'm going to get a snake bite or something. Or I'm going to pick it up and there'll be a lizard under there and I'll shit myself. Okay, dodgy as hell, but I've got four blades. Well, there you go. It's twice as good to start with. And I've forgotten the last measurement. But, uh, this one's 5.30. 5.35, 5.30, I literally picked it up and then uh, popped it here, put the tarp over it and that's been it, so, but there is bits that came with it, this stuff here, which the uh, previous owner said the problem with it was the pull start uh, stopped working, but before that it worked fine. Um, it looks like someone's had a crack at trying to fix it. 55 IC industrial commercial engine built for professionals. Whoa, what am I doing with it? Anyway, um, give it a bit of a lube all around here. Now that's all, that's all working. So these are the bits that came with. And the bolts and the, um, looks like a ratchet sort of thing, doesn't it? And of course the top cover. And the fuel tank. I won't spend too much time cleaning it because it might not work. I might be a exercise in putting it together to try and find out why why someone pulled it apart. It's pretty safe that these things go in there like that somehow. And they sort of, when you pull it, they throw out like that and um, grab a hold of something. Probably this thing in here. They probably throw out and lock into one of these notches here so it must just sort of sit down in there and the whole thing screws into here there you go so that screws in there this thing sits up and somehow I don't know how my magic maybe that's what the problem is something that's got all mucked up in here these springs are all been munched up. Might have to try and find a um, like a YouTube video with this spring intact. We'll see how it goes. It's, it's the, I've got a feeling there's something not quite right with that. Well, that's the model Quantum XTE. Read instructions before starting. Cast iron sleeve. So I found out the spring is um, looks more like this, so I've straightened it out a bit, put it over that shaft and this opening should click into that little knob, <coughs> and that's the little knob down there. But I've tried it a few times and it hasn't worked, <coughs> I'll keep trying. It's a bit hard because you've got to put it down there and you can't really see in there to um, see where this this spring is in relation to the knob. I'll keep trying. A bit hard to video though. I think I've got it. So got to make sure it doesn't spring up. But that's, that's working. 
Now, without letting that spring up, I've got to put these two little pull things in there. That. Now this thing, these little uh, grooves, flick in here to help the poles come in and out. Now, I don't exactly know how to line it up. It looks like when it's in, the poles sit here. So when it's in, the poles are in this bit along here, and then it comes out here and they flick out. Actually, so it probably brings them back into here, and they flick out when you pull the cord. There's knobs going back to there. So, seeing as it's in, I'll line up this like that. Sit that there. That's what happened last time, too. So. can't see what's going on in there. We're drilling a few holes, at least one in, or two in strategic locations to see what's going on. Oh well, I'll undo it again. See what's going on. I suppose you could drill a hole in there. I'll be able to see something as you're lining it up, maybe. At least look in there when it's Assemble so you can try and see what's going on. All right, <clears throat> three holes. So this is where the tab is. So put it on like that. Did that just go on? It felt like it went on. No, it didn't. So I think this is what's happening. Is the tab? Probably can't see it, but it's um. Yeah, it's. It's misaligned. <clears throat> it's probably pretty obvious now. Look at it. It's got to be, got to be parallel, or yeah, parallel to the side, but in a bit. So. Better. Did that go in? I think it did. Uh, no, maybe not. It's just sitting next to it. I think that's gone in. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's in. Been hard to see through the holes, but I think I think it's in. Put two poles in. Keep it under a bit of tension. Now, what I don't know is how to thread this um, pull cord on. I think you've got to wind it up because the pull cord's got to wind on when you release that spring tension. So, I probably should count the number of turns. So, if I stuff it up, I can do it again. So, I'll let the tension off but not too far so I'll line up the hole with the hole and I'll count the number of turns so one and I reckon that string will go around about six times I reckon I'll guess six so that's one two it's getting hard to turn Seven and it's starting to starting to sound like it's doing something. So I'll leave it at seven. Try and get it so it's lined up. Two holes are lined up. There we go. So I've got to thread the string in through that hole there. 
hold there. And through that one, tie a knot. Sitting in there like that. Put the screwdriver out and let it go back in. It's a bit floppy, but I think this is one of those mowers which I think is stupid. Stupid idea. The handle actually sits up here. So, um, I think that's okay, but I actually prefer it down here, I don't like, I think you get more pulling power when you lean down and rip it right up rather than pulling from here. Where is it? There we go. So those, those two line up. So it sits in there like that. What does this thing bolt on to? You know, I'm thinking that this this sits up. This has been this is turn around. Oh yeah. So this little knobby bit here. And there it goes in that hole there. Oops. Get too much dirt in the oil. Here we go. And bolt there. Find the screw that goes in there first. Could be that. I reckon it is. I'll try this one. Not sure where that goes. I'm sort of worried it's part of the um, operations of the this thing. Maybe it went in the middle somewhere. Well, that's a bit of a bummer. It's 10 mil. That's nine. Mm, of course, it's American, so it's probably some imperial size. It's uh, somewhere between nine and 10 millimeters. That'd be about three eight. I don't know. That's three eight. Three eighths of an inch. <laughs> Resort to a spanner. Okay, so it's one, two, three. Now those little, those little screws with the uh, little bushing sort of on them. It's quite neat the way they do that. Most people will just stick a just a continually threaded bolt through there, not worry about it. But, um, good old Americans. Oh shit! Right there. Americans. I'm going to put the camera there while I do this. All right, that's on. One, two. Three. Now the shroud. Shroud of secrecy. It's secret because it's hiding my dodgy holes I drilled in the top of that uh, retainer. The little clip thing. It's got to go under there. There we go, like that. I suppose these holes just line up by magic. This is the original screw. Oh, screwing into something. Okay. I found this screw which might be too small, but it might be okay. There we go. Beautiful. 
Look at that, it's got a nice gold colour head on it. Smicko. Now I'm going to check the oil. Looks like it's low, so I'll go and get some more oil. I've got no idea how much to put in, so I'll take it slowly. This is just engine oil. If this thing runs alright, I'll, I'll change the oil. But I'm not going to waste too much time and money now. Oh, it's gone everywhere, so. Try again. Well, it's got oil in there. It's sort of a bit hard to tell because it's coming all the way up up there, but most of it's down here, so. I'll show that's about right. One point two litres. Lays look pretty good actually. Now I'm going to try and start it. Now, of course, it could be um, another problem, which is why the the pull starter broke. Maybe someone was pulling the life out of it to try and overcome whatever the other problem is. But I'll give it a go. Got the old era start. Trying it. One, two, three. Jesus. It comes out in a hurry. Either blow it up or it'll start it. Thank uh... you. 